Hello, hello again. It's great to see you all as always. Today we're going to do something a little bit differently, a brief break in the spooky season uploads that I've been doing because I want to talk to you guys about a special little community game called Universally Crafted. And I'm going to kind of go over the ins and outs of this and show you some footage to uh, me actually participating in the game. Now a quick thing about this is it is a little exclusionary, I'm going to say. Not like geocaching, which I've mentioned in the past, where anybody can do it throughout the world. Universally Crafted is pretty much exclusive to the Universal Studio theme parks in Florida. Um, I think they do maybe do some out in the California parks, but I don't believe it's as extensive. And it's also not really all that um, extensive with the Disney parks out here either, mainly just Universal Studios. But if you're planning on making a trip to Universal Studios Florida, or you happen to be uh, in this area and you have an annual pass and you've never played this before, this will give you a little bit of a primer on what to do. Um, one quick note too is you do kind of have to have a Facebook account in order to play this, unfortunately. So if you're not with Facebook or you're hesitant to join, it might not be for you, I'm sad to say that, because it's almost uh, exclusively donated to the, uh, dedicated to the universally crafted Facebook page, which you'll most likely need to utilize in the parks in order to play the game. Um, it's not really prevalent on any other social. So like if you have Twitter X or uh, Instagram or like a Reddit page or anything like that, I haven't been able to find much of it there. It's really almost exclusively Facebook, but we'll go over the ins and outs a bit, a bit. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to switch over to a, a little screen recording of the universally crafted Facebook page and kind of explain exactly what it is and how to play it if you're going to the Universal Studios parks. So let's go and switch over to that next and we'll uh, do a quick little primer and then show you some footage of myself playing the game at, at the parks. Let's go check it out. So let's go over some of the basics as to exactly what Universal Crafted is and how you can participate. <clears throat> the first thing you need is a Facebook profile. So it pretty much is almost about 95% required that you have a Facebook page as the uh, the game is pretty much exclusive to Facebook. So if you don't have a profile and you don't want to set one up, unfortunately this might not necessarily be for you. But if so, then we'll move on to the next step. You can search for Universally Crafted. Just type in those two words. You'll find the page easily. Uh, right now they have a Harry Potter logo up, so you should be able to find it. Uh, you can do corresponding, it'll uh, list whichever park you're going to. Uh, and I take back what I said earlier. Actually, the Hollywood Park is part of the community as well. I'm just more used to the Orlando one. But look for Universally Crafted, uh, comma, or uh, parentheses, Orlando or Hollywood. <laughs> Once you find the one you're looking for, you can ask, request to join the site or the page. And the uh, community administrators will almost certainly let you in. There's really no reason they won't. You just have to agree to the terms and conditions, which I'll go over pretty soon. Once you're in, you can use that Facebook page anytime you're at one of the Universal Parks, Universal Studios Hollywood or Orlando or Islands of Adventure in Orlando. And once you're there, as you refresh the page, you'll start to see other community members start to post pictures of locations throughout the parks, along potentially with a hint. Sorry, a little noise in the background. <laughs> um, now, <clears throat> If you happen to know the location that's in the pictures they post, and if you happen to be lucky enough or quick enough to be the first one there, you'll be able to claim the prize that they dropped. That's what the pictures are for. They're posting pictures to show you where they hid little trinkets and treasures that they've created. Uh, you can create treasures or buy them yourselves. I'll go over that in a minute as well. But if you happen to find it yourself, then, you know, lucky, lucky, winner, winner, chicken dinner. You get to do um, whatever you want with the treasure that you find. You can keep it for yourself and take it home. And cool, there's a fun little souvenir for you. Or else you can leave it alone if it's not something that's of any use to you or something you just uh, don't feel like picking up. Or you can take it and move it to a new location, which is called a rehide, which I'll go over in just a minute what rehides are. But that's the basic gist of it. It's a Facebook community that specializes in just coming together for our loves for the theme parks and uh, different spreading community joyness and wellness together. So you just go to locations where they put their pictures up. And if you're the first one there, you'll be able to claim that prize for yourself. Okay, pretty fun, huh? Now let's go over also if you decide that you wanna hide something on your own. See what that's all about. 
And here's just a quick part of the Facebook page here, just kind of saying in their own words what I've already mentioned, uh, basically go going over a few rules about it uh, that I'll go over in further details later. But this is just to kind of give you an idea as to exactly what the Facebook page looks like that you will be looking for if you're interested in signing up to participate with Universally Crafted. Just gives you kind of the overviews and some descriptions on the rules to obey. All right, next we're showing here a quick example of a post. So you can see here a few examples of people hiding items in different locations and putting pictures up of where they hid them. This in particular is one that I found the other night during Horror Nights. Um, so I looked at this picture right here of this location and I think I kind of knew where it was. So since I was kind of close by, I made a dash over there to see if I was the first one to get it. Let's see if I was successful. And there it is. So I'm gonna open this up a little bit later. Ooh, it's kind of cool. I think that's Five Nights at Freddy's. But I'll take a closer look later, but I'll show you guys exactly um, how I found this and kind of the clues that I found to found this, find this little guy. Check it out. And then you can kind of decipher the place that you find on the screen itself if you know where it is. The first person there gets the treasure. So I looked at that picture and I was like, I think I know where that bookstore is, but it's gotta be around here somewhere. So you look around here, and if you guys recognize this area, this is where I just found the item inside the little green pipe there. So you look on the Facebook page as soon as someone drops something. It's a good idea to refresh it constantly because it's first come, first, uh, first gets the treasure. You're the first one there, it's yours to keep. So I found something, we'll check it out later. And then uh, if it's something I like, I can keep it with great appreciation and gratitude to the person who dropped it off. And if it's something I don't necessarily need, I can rehide it for someone else to find. But there you go. Successful find. All right, so let's talk about rehides with the Universally Crafted Treasures. Now, rehides are basically anything that you can either take someone else's and move it to someplace else if you find it, or you can make your own thing and hide it somewhere in the park. When I say make it, you can if you want. It is called a crafting group, but you can create uh, any sort of little trinket that you want. If you have any sort of uh, crafting expertise or want to uh, express yourself artistically. And by that, I mean like paint, you could paint a rock. You can make a little keychain, a little charm, a little bobble, a bookmark, stuff like that. Or if you don't want to do that, you can either uh, repurpose something from your home or you could buy something, something really small, you know, like a pack of stickers or or uh, just anything really small or easy. I've even, I've even seen people hide some really big prizes like full-on action figures and Funko figures and, and full books and stuff like that. Sky's the limit though. You can hide a small keychain that you get at Five Below if you want. Whatever you want to do. And if you want to do it, if you don't want to hide something yourself, that's fine. You can just participate in the game and go around and look for stuff. <clears throat> now, once you uh, decide to hide something, the next step is to find a good hiding place. Now, if you look at the terms and conditions when you set up the universally crafted page, it'll tell you where you can and cannot hide. Places you don't wanna hide stuff is any place that's generally inaccessible without special purpose. And by that, I mean, don't really hide it indoors. Don't hide anything inside gift shops, restrooms, uh, attraction or line queues, restaurants, anything like that. Anything else is pretty much fair game. So if you're like walking by a planter or next to a wall or anything like that, that's gonna conceal your item and is open to the general public just passing by on the street, go ahead and hide it there and it shouldn't be a problem. Once you've hidden something, you wanna take a picture of it and post that to the universally crafted page. At that point, you can either reveal exactly what you're hiding or you can just leave it as a surprise. And you could leave hints or not, that's up to you too. You could just take a picture of the planter that you put something in and post it and you're good to go. Or you could show like, hey, uh, I'm hiding this uh, this keychain that I got and I put it inside this, uh, uh, alongside this wall next to the Born, I uh, Born Ultimatum attraction. And you could uh, take a picture and put it right there and put a little arrow on where it's hiding. It's completely up to you, however far you wanna go with it. But that's gonna be the rehide, and then you can check the page and experience kind of the fun that you get when someone mentions that they found it and you made someone else's day. It's a lot of fun. All right, so earlier I got this. It's pretty cool. So it's a uh, croc charm for uh, Harry Potter uh, Gryffindor. So what I'm gonna do with this is I'm gonna go ahead and hide this right now, and then after that I'm gonna post 
a picture of the uh, location where I hit it on the Universally Crafted Forum uh, webpage on Facebook. And then anybody who's browsing the page at that time might be able to find it and use that clue to be the first one to find it and take it home for themselves. Or they can rehide it if they'd like and put it somewhere else. Let's go and hide it real quick. Scan the barcode too if you'd like there. The QR code, take you to their website or to the uh, to the web page, I should say. And then in a moment, I'm gonna go ahead and take a picture of this and put it on the universally crafted Facebook page. And that'll clue someone in that there's a little goodie hiding over here. First one to it gets it. All right, and so now that I've hidden it, I take a picture of the site and I post it on the universally crafted board. That way, anybody who refreshes the page can see that there is a new hidden object right at this location, and they can try to come here and be the first to find it. Very popular spot for hides is Jedediah Springfield over here in well Springfield, USA. Or should I say Han Springfield? As you can see right here, we have a drop line right there. You can kind of see it a little bit. I actually put that back because I found that somewhere else and it's a pair of earrings, which I don't have much use for. But I did find this in the same spot. Another find. What do we got? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Transformer stickers. This is kind of cool. I know it's not great to see. It's low light quality in here, but yeah, it's another find. So we're going to do the same thing with that. We're going to hang on to that. And there we go. Let's get some better light. Hold on, hold on. There we go. You can see it a lot better over here. So check it out. So it says you can keep it or rehide it. I'm probably gonna keep these guys, but I found them and I left those earrings in their place because I don't have much use for the earrings. Thus, the circle continues. 
Okay, so these were all my finds last night at Horror Nights. I apologize for the quality of the uh, final video because it was pretty bad lighting and I was really tired. But uh, here's an overview after having gotten a good night's sleep. Uh, so I got this cool little custom magnet with the uh, HHN23 and the uh, slogan, Never Go Alone on it. Pretty cool. This little guy, it's like a 3D printed. No, I don't think it's 3D printed, but it's like a little custom made. Uh, he's a character from Five Nights at Freddy. I only really know the main characters from the first game, so I recognize the crocodile. I just don't know his name. <laughs> Someone let me know, or I'll, I'll, I'll find out later and I'll post it on here. And then I got these sticker sets that I found too. Really cute. Uh, Transformers, trolls, and stuff like this. Yeah. All these places for stickers. Uh, these were some of the cards that I found with with the little Five Nights at Freddy's guys. I found this from Jeremy and Brooke Williams. As you can see here, post a picture of your find on the University Crafted Facebook group. There's the uh, QR code. And the stickers came with this one right here. Uh, Frank and Stephanie Smith. Now, you don't need to sign your name on these if you decide to do a hide. but And you don't even need to uh, leave these cards behind. But it's always a cool idea if you decide to. You always scan that QR code right there. And, of course, I'll post the link in the field notes for the actual group itself. As I mentioned before, that is the one downside to Universally Crafted Game is you do need to have it on Facebook. Um, it's, as far as I know, it's not on any other socials like uh, Twitter X or uh, or Instagram or uh, Reddit or anything like that. I think it's just exclusively Facebook. But uh, that's the basic gist of it for this. You know, you go on the Facebook group, you look for clues that people have hidden things. And then if you're in the parks, you can uh, wander over there and grab your stuff and collect it and either take it home proudly add it to your collection or you can take it and put it someplace else take a picture of the new hidden location and uh, post it on the facebook page for other people to come find it instead if it's something that you don't want like those um the candy cane uh candy corn earrings that i found you know like i said i just placed those somewhere else and uh, uh you can do that or you can just put them right back where you found them either way <laughs> But yeah, that's it. So a decent haul last night and all sorts of really cool things. I saw that someone actually hid a full-blown Funko figure too, which is pretty cool. There's no telling what you can hide. You can hide little trinkets like this or a whole bunch of cool stuff. Uh, it all depends. But yeah, check out their Facebook page and um, all sorts of fun stuff to do. If you guys have any questions or need any clarifications, let me know. But that's kind of the basic gist of it. A really fun game to play. So one last outro here. I do hope that answered a few questions for you guys if you're interested in playing the game, if you ever find yourself at the Universal Parks. Uh, and remember, it's, as far as I know, mostly in the Florida parks and mainly just Universal Studios and Islands of Adventure. Disney has pages, but there's not they're not as active and the hides aren't as prevalent, especially because Disney's a little more stringent and strict about it. For Disney, you can mainly find them on the... Uh, the resorts around the place like the Grand Floridian or the uh, or the Wilderness Lodge Resort things like that and usually not in the theme parks like Magic Kingdom, Epcot, etc. So if you're a fan of Universal Studios, if you travel there often as an annual pass holder perhaps or you're just making one visit, it's always worthwhile to log on to their Wi-Fi if, if you can if you can get Wi-Fi there. It's a little dodgy sometimes. And uh, link up the Universally Crafted Facebook page, refresh it throughout your day, and if you see someone post that they left prize or a treasure in an area that you're nearby go uh go to that place if you recognize it pick it up if you're the first one there and have fun with it if you cross paths with someone else looking you can always try to trade treasures with them if you have anything of your own that you brought from home or you can just chat it up and uh let people know that you're uh that you're a new member or that you're having fun playing it if you're a veteran and who knows you might make a new friend it's just a really fun way to go about the community and have fun and i really like it it's a lot of fun an additional cool way to spread out your day at the parks okay so that's going to do it for now go out there sign up for the uh for the page if you haven't if you have facebook and if you do decide to do it and you check out the universal uh studios parks have fun it's a lot of good place and i'm pretty sure you'll enjoy it all right till next time guys